Hi, and welcome to Healthwise in Your Kitchen. We are going to be making spaghetti squash casserole today. So many people don't know how to cook spaghetti squash, so I wanted to start there first. Here is our very large <laughs> spaghetti squash. They come in all different sizes, and they should have a pretty hard um, skin on it. Spaghetti squash is amazing for its fiber components and a low carbohydrate option. Now you can cut a squash two ways. You can do it um, kind of that horizontal or that midway line and that'll create longer strings or longer spaghetti um, noodles, let's say, or you can cut it lengthwise. It'll have a little bit shorter spaghetti noodles um, but either way is fine. It just depends on what you would like to do. First, take your knife and make a couple of just incisions in the side. So, once I have a couple of those kind of starting points, I just want to basically go on the dotted line surrounding my whole spaghetti squash. This is how a spaghetti squash looks when it's opened. You can always cut a squash shorter length, so around the middle, and that just creates longer kind of spaghetti strings or strands. You can also cut it long ways, lengthwise, um, which is just my preferred preference. There's actually no wrong way to do it. So when you open your squash, you'll see that the insides kind of look a little bit like carving a pumpkin. And you wanna scoop all of this soft stuff out. I prefer to do it before. I cook my spaghetti squash. I've seen it done where people will do it afterwards. Um, and either way, again, either way is fine. Once I'm done scooping out the insides of my spaghetti squash, it should look like this. After I'm done with all of that, I'm gonna place both of these face down or face up on a baking sheet with a little bit of oil, usually avocado oil or olive oil on the sides. And so face up will make it just a little bit more crispy and face down won't. So depends on how you like your spaghetti squash. You can cook it either way. I'm preheating the oven at 425 on roast. And then I will put the spaghetti squash and cook it in there for about 30 minutes. How I'll check is to make sure when I take my knife and I poke it in there that I can poke through the skin relatively easy. So right now it's pretty hard and I wanna poke through it and it should just go right through. Chanel, you can also see some changes in the skin too to note that it's softer. And at that point, I'll take it out and let it cool so then I can create the spaghetti insides. When your spaghetti squash comes out of the oven, you just take your fork and you just sort of pick at the sides to shred that squash to make smaller pieces, just like so. And so you wanna keep shredding until you get most of the insides out. And then you can move on to the next steps in your dish. In our spaghetti squash casserole, we're gonna include several ingredients. First, we have our four cups of spaghetti squash that I took out of the squash after I roasted. We have two cups of diced chicken breast that's already cooked, one cup of green onions, already kind of chopped with the whites and light green in there, three-fourths cup mushrooms that are already sliced, 
3 fourths cup fat-free sour cream, and also our half cup of just water. We're also going to include two products from HealthWise, the cream of chicken soup and the sea salt and vinegar protein chips. As you know, HealthWise provides lots of protein in their products with a low amount of carbohydrate. So we're gonna have a wonderful high protein, low carb dish that we're going to make up. So now is the fun part. We get to mix all of our ingredients together. So come with me. You'll need two bowls, one large, one small, and then also a baking dish that is um, just lightly sprayed with a cooking spray, um, which I did uh, before, so it's all ready to go for us. So in our big bowl, we're gonna have our main and maybe larger ingredients of this spaghetti squash. Just put that in there. Actually, I'm gonna switch these around real quick so it's a little easier for me. You know, all this kitchen stuff. Make our life easier. So that, and then our chicken. So chicken that's already pre-cooked goes in there. We also want our green onions to go in, which actually will add a ton of flavor. I just like some green onions to give thick to my dishes. And then last, mushrooms. Mushrooms usually give a nice kind of what they call mommy flavor, which is um, just gives a little bit of richness to it. So once you have those in your large bowl, you'll want to mix those together. And you'll just kind of mix them around so that they're evenly distributed. Nothing has to be perfect. It doesn't have to be all together all at once. Just kind of making sure that you're mixing that spaghetti squash and onions and mushrooms together. Okay, a little bit there. I'm gonna put this aside for a second and come back to my small bowl. Okay, in my small bowl, I'm gonna do or have first my water, a little bit of water there, and then I'm gonna use my HealthWise chicken, cream of chicken soup. Um, this is going to give some rich creaminess to this casserole. Remind you maybe of where you grow up, at least it is for me. So I'm going to add this in to my water. Take my whisk and just whisk these this together. And I really just want to blend it. So I might have to scrape some off the sides, but it should start getting that kind of light beige, and you should not see any of your dry parts. Okay, next will be sour cream. So we have our fat-free sour cream here. We're gonna add that to our small bowl. Definitely easier to use a spatula for this one so you can get all of it in there. Scrape it off the sides. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get today actually for me. And then I want to reuse my whisk just because it's a little bit easier. I feel like the blending feels a little bit better, but you could use a spatula if you would like that or a spoon, whatever is easiest for you. With all of these recipes, we want it easy and no stress cooking. Fantastic. So those two, bowls are ready to go and we're basically going to combine them together. So I'm going to take the small bowl 
and add it to my large bowl and mix it in evenly. So let's do a switcheroo again. And I'm gonna pour my small into the large. And then I'm actually gonna grab my spatula again in order to make sure I can get all of this goodness in there. There's a lot of flavor that's going to come from the cream of chicken soup and that creaminess with your fat-free sour cream. So from there, I'm going to just mix together. And I'm going to try my best to make this as even as possible. So this may take a little bit of time to mix together. That's okay. Sometimes our ingredients agree with us some days and sometimes they're a little stubborn. But we just want to try our best to make it as even as possible. That's the goal. Awesome, great. Okay, once you have that done and once it's as even as you like, you're gonna take that whole bowl and put it in your lightly um, sprayed baking pan, okay? So let's take this and let's put it in our baking pan. Ooh. Such great goodness here. This completely reminds me of a type of casseroles when I was a kid. But in so much more of a healthy way, because with this guy, I'm actually getting a really nice 22 grams of protein with it. So that's probably a little different from when I grew up. I'm going to just spread this evenly in my baking dish. So that way I can try to get all the areas filled in. Perfect. And then last but not least, absolutely not least, we want a nice crunchy top on here. So, best part about it, we can use our sea salt and vinegar chips from HealthWise to create a protein filled, but that crispy top that we like when we have our casseroles, okay? So you can take the bag, you can squish it in here, break the, up those pieces. Um, I already pre-broken them up for us right here. So they look all different sizes, you can like have them smaller, you can have them larger, whatever you prefer. And I'm gonna just sprinkle them on the top and I wanna try to do this as evenly as possible because I want everyone to get to share in the fun of uh, a spr sprinkle of chips on the top. And I'm actually gonna take my spatula and just even this out a little bit. Um, sometimes, much as we try and we were to it evenly, sometimes it just doesn't sprinkle that way. So we have our baking pan ready to go. It's all looking like it's going to be fantastic coming out, but let's come back and see. Remember you preheated your oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna see what happens next. Hey, welcome back. Uh, our casserole is finished, and so let's take it out of the oven and see how it looks. Oh my goodness. This looks fantastic. Look at all those crispy and crunchies that we have with our Housewives sea salt and vinegar chip. So remember that this casserole has six servings in it and 158 calories per serving and 22 grams of protein. 
So take a look. That is how quick and easy dinner can be served. This is our spaghetti squash casserole. Quick, easy, delicious dinner can be on the table in 30 minutes or less. I'd love to see what you're cooking up in your kitchen. So please take us on social media at hashtag HealthWise in your kitchen.